Hello, Chris Richter here. Welcome back again to ricochet.com.au. What I want to look at was something a little bit different than what I normally do, and that's about content that goes into your learning management system. One clever little thing that you can use, which you may have seen that's been around for quite a while now, is a thing called an infographic. If you haven't looked at an infographic, quite simple, go to Google search infographics and you'll get this big collection of all these different examples of what infographics actually are. So if we have a look, an infographic is just a graphic that has lots of information in it displayed in a way that is easier to learn. So you can see why this is valuable to education. Now, just as a, a side thing to it as well, make sure that if you do have an infographic in there, you have an alternate description to explain to people that use screen readers what it is that they're looking at or what it is that is being displayed inside the infographic because they may not actually be able to see the graphic itself. So make sure you have that in place as well. They are invaluable and they give some great information and make it really simple and easier to learn certain topics or information about things. But your question is, what if I want to create my own? How do I go about it? What's the simple way to do it? I'm just going to quickly show you where you can find the parts and components of an infographic and then what's involved in the process of putting that infographic together. Very, very briefly, so this is not a detailed how to create an infographic course or anything like that, but if you do want that, let me know. I can actually do that for you. An infographic is just, for example, this one here, the facts on leaks, tells you in with all the numbers and graphics and you know large and small text showing you what's important. Did you know uh, minor water leaks account for nearly one trillion gallons of wasted water each year? That's in gallons, so it's probably not Australian. Um, showers leaking at 10 drips per minute, waste more than 500 gallons per year. That is crazy. That's an infographic. Nice and simple. There's lots of other examples of infographics. Now, where do you get the images or the ideas for how to create these infographics? One really clever place to go to is to go to a place called FreePick. So F-R-E-E-P-I-K dot com. It's worth getting a license for it because that way you can use the information or the, the assets that you grab from there in your own product. But an example over here is a set of business infographics or infographic vectors. I can download this, assuming I have the license to it, and I can use each of these components inside my infographic and create an infographic. So what you need is you need all of the assets or the pieces that make up the infographic that you're going to use. Obviously, you need to design the infographic first and work out what the percentages or the numbers and the information is going to be. So you need to come up with all of that based on the information and content that you actually want to teach somebody or explain to them. But the next stage after that is to grab all these assets. So you can download things like this, like business vector graphics, or there's a whole collection of different graphics that you can use. So this one here is a different set of infographics and basically you can grab each of these little components all these parts and put them into your graphic so you download that so let's just imagine you've downloaded one of these we're going to open it up in adobe illustrator in adobe illustrator we've opened up this template that has just some components for our infographic we can create ourselves a new artboard let's simply go to edit artboard and add a second artboard That might be the size I want for my infographic. Then all I need to do is grab each of the components over, place them where I'd like them to go, and obviously add in my own percentages and my own text and own information. So I may decide I want to have a map over here that tells us some information. I might put a title above that as well, a little information. And then I can just move over these numbers to put them in the right place that's relevant to what I would actually like to say. So one, two, three, choose whichever countries you want or where it's got to go to. Uh, then I might want some sample information here. So I might want to explain, you know, a point one, two and three. I can grab these and place them where I like, replace the text that's in there. Obviously resize them also. It's pretty much a case of choose the components that you want or that you need. Uh, resize, reposition them to where you want them to be as well. And you can end up with your own infographic with obviously your own text in there. And if there's any things like, you know, percentages and things like that that you want to do, uh, resize them and relabel them as well. 
when you put them over. So we may need to, we may want to talk about this percentage here and the information right 50 50 or we can change that to whatever percentage we like so it's quite simple you just choose the assets that you like put them over into a page that you're going to use for your infographic when you have completed it and put in all your content that you want you just export that as a graphic and upload that into your learning management system so it's quite simple it's really really easy it does take a bit of time and it does take some planning to work it all out but like I said, if you're interested in an actual course on how to go about doing all this step by step, uh, let me know in the comments. I'd love to help you out. But otherwise, that's all you need to do. Create your infographic uh, in Adobe Illustrator, export it as an image, and load that up into your learning management system, and you are all done. That's the way to go about it. Nice and simple. Or you could spend all your time also designing your own assets as well uh, to make it very customized to suit you. But I find it much easier to grab assets that already exist from a licensed location. So check out freepick, F-R-E-E-P-I-K dot com and just search for the statistics or you can search for infographic and that will give you all sorts of really interesting and useful infographic ideas that you can use. Grab yourself a license for it. It's not very expensive at all. And I hope that's been helpful to you. Once you put the new content, students will be really happy they'll find it really interesting and so much more useful than just uh, pages and pages of text i'll talk to you again soon don't forget to check out the courses in the comments below and i'll talk to you again soon